Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator into the United States. Welcome to my channel and I hope you guys are having a great summer. <coughs> I am. It's a beautiful day here. It is not August by the way but this is airing in August. So this is August 21st 2023's video. This is my Monday series. This is the third Monday of the month of August. So that means it is shake a card time. And I can't wait to show you what I've created. We are still using lighting the way. Let me show you. So the bundle, here's my little wing. Oh, that's where it was. I have extra ones. I kept, I had to cut some more. I knew I had cut extra. So we are using the large lightning bug in one of these little ones, the little wing, which is this die right here. We're using this, this, um, this, um, we'll see and follow your dreams. So I'm going to set this aside way over here, here, hopefully. Oh and let me show you the card I made so this is my envelope isn't this cool and this was possible because a beautiful woman a subscriber sent me this lovely gift these are from Heidi Swap they're like chipboard um, so isn't that cool I absolutely love these. I couldn't wait to use it. And I knew I wanted to use it with a yellow. So I'm using it behind Bumblebee. But you could do something similar. Like punching a whole bunch of dots with a crocodile Or a hole puncher. Uh, poking a whole bunch of dots. You could recreate this. But this is awesome. It's really, really thick stuff. So. Um, <clears throat> by the way, I have to say. Thank you to Cindy. Thank you to Tammy. Um, I knew I wanted to do something with like a night sky with these little great little bits for a shaker card. And this is it. And I'm combining it with this little bit of green and gold. I didn't put quite enough in here for my liking. So we're going to put more because it just didn't seem to have quite enough in there but this is my sample so that's what it is on the inside it opens like this and i did a little more scene with more little lightning bugs so that's our card i'm gonna set these goodies right there and we're gonna get go over what you need i almost was like let's just dive in right nope let's go over so we're right down here so um, I'm using Bumblebee. Crush Curry would work beautifully, but I already had Bumblebee card bases on my shelf, so I'm using those up. Card base is four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half, and that is, it opens like this. Okay, you could make it go this way, but we're using it portrait style. And then this base here. Now, I cut this down. Let me show you them. Yikes. Come on, work with me here. All right. Um, it was in this pile here. And these were originally, what is it, five by seven? Something like that. Oh my goodness, it's going to bother me now. Yes, five by seven. And I cut it down to four and a quarter by five and a half. So four and a quarter by five and a half. And I kept these lovely dots. I wanted this up near the heart, like a whole swarm of fireflies. Okay. Can you tell I'm excited? I love this set, everybody. I just do. So this is going to get some great color on it. And then we have um, black scrap, which you can see here. I already used it. Those are from my little bugs. Um, a one and three quarter inch circle punch that is for our window to go through. You're going to need a two by two piece of vellum and a window sheet that's two and a quarter by two and a quarter and an inside piece that is three and three quarters by five and an envelope. So those are the supplies needed. We are going to start with coloring. So I'm going to set that aside hopefully you guys can still see that on the camera over there let me set my envelope way away so nothing happens to it 
you can see I've already been sponging. So I chose to use Starry Sky. Thought that would look really good with the Bumblebee. Crushed Curry would look really good with it too. So I'm going to start off. Now I'm going to start in this corner. I'm going to keep it kind of light in here and then I'm going to darken it up as we go. So I'm going to start off like so. And I am just going to go around. I can apply more pressure now that I'm getting up near the top. But you can always, I know you guys might be sick of me saying this, but you can always add color on. You just can't take it off when it comes to ink. So we're going to add our color all the way around. We want to keep it real light handed here when we come into here. Filling that in a bit, I'm going to see me start adding a little bit more pressure up in here. But here I wanted to keep it real light. All right, so now we're going to layer on some more color. Now we're going to start up at this corner. See how much darker that's going to get? We're going to bring that all the way down. Darker at the top. We're going to turn it add that ink. I'm not going to add any more to my brush till I go over the whole area of the dots. All right. Now I'm going to layer up some more ink. Tap off first. Now I'm going to go along this whole edge. So I'm starting here. I'm going to get some more going to go one more time, getting it real nice and dark all the way to that edge. Turning this. Adding more pressure to get more of that ink on my paper. loading my brush up some more. Now I need to start up here, working down. I want that filled in a little more. This is where I'm going to punch my hole out. Let me put it on my paper and it'll give me an idea if it's quite dark enough. It's not. We're going to add another layer of ink. Just going to keep going over it. And I'm going to do this part really nice and dark. And well, I think this is going to be the last coat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Really cool. That's it. Okay. So now I'm going to, before we're done with this though, let's go ahead and do the inside some blending. Because I don't think we're going to need to add any ink to the brush. So I'm going to use my nails. going to go along. Kind of like the look of like fogged up windows in a car. Leaving the center white. All right. That's for the inside. We can stamp on it later when we get to that point. But now I'm going to put up the blue Starry Sky ink. Let me set that way away from me. I'm going to fold this in half for a moment. So all that inkiness. Now we're going to stamp directly onto this. And we're going to start with this image and we're going to use black memento. You could use stays on. It's okay if you choose to, but this is handy. And I don't want to have to use stays on cleaner. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to give it a minute. This is really thick chipboard. It's not just like easy peasy paper there. 
Oh, so nice. So, so nice. So I'm going to ink it up again. This time I want this branch to come right there. I want you to kind of see it on there. Hopefully I get it all. Oh, very, very nice. Next, we're just going to do this top portion, making the canopy of a tree. Really, really cool. Love the stamp set. Just love it. Okay, this one is coming down. Yes, like so. And before we put this up, we're going to stamp on the inside piece. So we're going to set that aside, bring our inside piece, and we're just going to add this little wisp of our tree canopy right there. Voila! So, so gorgeous. So next, while we have this one here, we're going to add this little bit of one right down here in the corner. Did I double stamp it? I got to take a peek what I did. Nope, I just single did it. So that's good. Um, we're going to set this aside again. And we're going to bring this element in. And we're going to do just two down here, like big waves of tall grass in a meadow. Maybe we will do three. There's two and a little bit right there. Really, really cool. Okay, next, uh, let's go ahead and do our lightning bugs. So I said bumblebee, where did I do with the bumblebee? We're gonna need that for our little inside piece. So we're gonna switch it up. Gonna cover this one up because I have been known to be stamping black, stamping onto that. It, it, it's getting kind of sad. So we're gonna stamp off as I've been doing most of these. So we're gonna put one there. Then I'm gonna come in with the medium sized one. I'm gonna stamp off and put it right here. This time we're going to do three and I'm going to bring in the little, wee little tiny one right there. And we're going to stamp that up there. Got a little halo going on, but it's a lightning bug. It can handle the halo. And let's go ahead and grab our envelope while we got the bumblebee out while I can remember to do the circles. So stamp off stamp on, stamp off, and stamp on. There, now we're done with bumblebee. So let's close up the bumblebee. Thank you very much. Next, we're going to bring in that black memento, open it back up, and we are going to do the medium bug on that big one. We're going to bring the great big lightning bug on this big old circle right here. That's our envelope. We're going to set that aside. So on this one, we're getting the great big lightning bug right there. Next, we're going the medium one. Ugh, look at all that blue ink on me. Going to have to take a second. Oops, where's the wee little one? Oh, he's right there. Okay. So I'm going to take a second and get some um, hand sanitizer on my hand before we go any, any farther here. And my towel has disappeared. There it is. All right. So... Move that aside, move that aside. What do we have left? We need to punch. So that's the inside. Let's go ahead and put that on the inside. So nothing else happens to it. It's got some stuff going on in the back of it already. Looks like some light bumblebee transferred from my fingers. So this is on the inside. So 
so that's good to go. We have our window sheet, our vellum, and our punch. So we're going to put this in as not as far as we can, but roughly like right there. See where we left that whitish area? Punch. There's our window. Now we're going to turn this over. I wonder what that's from. That looks like it's a piece of my punch. Interesting. Hmm. I'm, I mean, it really does look like it, doesn't it? All right. I'm going to have to keep that. I'm not sure what it's from. All right. Mm, back to what we're doing. We need the tear tape. Um, not quite yet, though. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Getting a little confused here. That little thing threw me for a loop. So this is setting directly on. This is going to go right here. And while it's here, we're going to tuck this up underneath. All right, so that's in good positioning. Now I need to use, let's use this to hold it in place. I need to get just a few little bits off of this to tack the vellum down. Just a little bit. Hopefully that's not like stuck on my table yet. So I'm going to pop this down like so, pop it up, remove the backing, that one's done, use the tool, oops, oops, don't move too far. Okay, because now we're going to stamp. We're going to stamp through the window before we do anything else. And we're going to stamp Follow Your Dreams in Black Momento. Because I think it fits so perfectly in there. That vellum just softens up the yellow behind it. That's what that's there for. So if you were wondering, that's why. Okay, so we can set this aside for the moment. And now we're going to concentrate on this and we need that tear tape again. If I can find the end of it. Because we need to place the window sheet really close to it. Still working on the window here. That might be a little outside of the realm, but that's going to be okay because we still have the window sheet that's going to go here. I'm worried about that spot, to tell you the truth, but can't do anything about it now. My window is in place and we are going to use it. It will work. Even if I got to put a lightning bug right over that little circle or I have an idea, I could put a little piece of bumblebee right there, like right now, and you would never know. Let's do that because I am a little worried. So we're going to pop a little piece of bumblebee. I'm worried when I put my window sheet 
over this. Well, yeah, I'm worried that the um the foam. So that is just going to make sure that it's the foam isn't going to be there. So now we're going to put our window sheet. I know not everybody does their um things like this, but this is for this one and for quite a few. This is the way I do it. So next we need those foam strips. I'm going to run out here. So this is why I added the yellow, because this here would have ran right across that little peekaboo hole. I'm going to butt that up. That's really important to make sure all of those are lined up. And a shaker card doesn't mean that it has to be a great big shaker card. Just a little element is great. That one's already pulled off, so let's just go roll with it. Am I too close? Yes. It's a good thing it's plastic down there. All right. Just going to leave it like that. We can take this piece up. And this piece up even though we're not going to place it down, but the other ones were already off, so why not go for it? Now, we're going to need to add some more dimensionals to this because it's going to go. So I'm adding one here. I'm going to add a combination of full dimensionals just in some supporting areas of this card. So there... Then I'm going to add some minis down here. And there's the school bus. And there goes the barking idiot club. <laughs> My dogs. <laughs> Dear, no. All right. This wee little one is going to go over there. I don't I think. Hopefully my husband is getting up for him. Um, will that one fit right there? It will. I think I'm pretty good to go there. Yep, that looks good. So move all those aside. We can take all the backings off. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Move all of this good in here. Let's move it all aside. Don't want nothing sticking to where it's not supposed to. And then we're going to put our little goodies on top of where we stamped. Um, follow your dreams. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to put our little ray of sunshine right in the center. I like that. I'm going to add a little bit of this. Just oh, oh, a little bit. Yeah, that, that's more than a little bit, don't you think? So let's move some of that down here. We don't want all of that. I just wanted a little hint of it. All right. So there goes that one. Oh, you know what would have been pretty? This would have been so cool in there. We're going to add a smidgen of that too. And do I have anything else I can add to 
that. Some little stars. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. Confetti. The fun uses of confetti. So here we go. For the money, here we go. Let's get it on there. Oh, so cool. Shake it about. Uh oh. Do I have a leak? No, I just had stuff coming out of the end. So. Now I have plenty of color in there, little stars, it's a little static, but it's going to be just fine. Okay, I'm going to scoot that stuff aside, and now we're going to finish our card off with a lightning bug. Let's see what else goodness stuff we have down here. We're going to build our lightning bug. They should have made a builder punch with this. All right, so big lightning bug needs, start off with his vellum wings. I'm going to start off right up here as this is where that little bump on him goes. Hank, is there something I can do for you? Because you're breathing in my ear here. What's up, babe? I was wondering if I could show this. Yes, my grandson would like to show you something. Explain to us what it is. It's a uh, surprise. Pen that's also looks like a syringe. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thank you for sharing it. Do you want to show us how it writes? Go ahead. Go ahead, write. This one just stops. Mm -hmm. You want to write something real quick with this? Like right here. Just write hi, H I. All right. Thank you. Very cool. I'm so happy you have that. Mm -hmm. So now this we're going to add it's green goo, huh? What type of My yeah, glue is starting to dry up there because it was left unattended. And yes, it might be green on the back of it. That's because I'm cutting it from, where's my piece? Piece that I made the other day. Bumblebee. I'm still using the opposite side. Why does this always do that to me? needs to get a pinch there to stay together. Now this one I learned from the last time. Put this down where you want it first and then glue the lightning bug to it. So this one, let's see, you can see our sample is right over here. So we're going to glue our little quarter inch circle down. Then I'm going to take my wee little lightning bug and glue him to the circle. That works a lot better than putting the circle on the lightning bug. So there's that little lightning bug. Maybe it works. It would help if you didn't have glue on your fingers, which pick everything else up. This one, however, there we go again. Okay, just stay there. I don't know why you don't want to stay on the paper. Give it a second. Maybe it's just because it's cold. This one's getting dimensionals. If I can find where I set them all down at. We're putting two minis on the back side of our lightning bug. And we're going to peel them off. And our card, guys, is like almost finished, except we have to add some Wink Stella. So we're going to put our lightning bug right there. And uh, Tammy, you are so wonderful. Thank you. The black wink Estella is to die for. Absolutely amazing. 
stuff. I'm going to add it to my leaves. And trust me, it does make it sparkle and shine. It's gorgeous. Just little flecks like you're painting a little bit of contrast in the leaves themselves. Just love this. And don't forget these down there. All the way through them. And then, of course, our big lightning bugs body. We want to make sure we cover him in the glistening goodness that is Inca Stella. I'll have to go back and do, oh, we don't want those on there, but look at how cute that is. Beautiful little night side. Oh, love it. Follow your dreams. Have to get the static from being so staticky. Anybody got any ideas on that? But I love it. So there are my, oh, I can see how much darker that is. And I like that. So this is my shaker card for August 21st, 2023 Monday's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it wasn't too long for you. And um, would you consider making a comment, like, share, subscribe? Great. I just found out I hit 800. I am like, oh my gosh, astonished, amazed. Um, just beyond me. I am so, um, so grateful and so thankful. So thank you all of you guys. And I hope you come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye everybody.